Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today, inshallah, we're going to start with the first question of topic one measurement and uncertainty. I shared these questions already with you on Google uh, Classroom. So let's start. Before we do the first question, I would like to just revise with you really, really um, important information about how you can find the value of each square in X or Y direction. Now here I have an X direction, I have voltage and Y direction, I have uh, the charge. So charge against voltage. How can I know the value, the magnitude of each square in the X direction? I will go to the first number here, zero, start with zero, and it ends with 10. So the difference between them is 10. And how many squares do I have? I have one, two, three, four, five squares. So the number of this, the number, the, the difference to find the value of each square always use this formula. Find the difference divided by the number of the squares. So let's go the first value in, in, in x direction or in the voltage, the difference is 10 divided by 5, so I will have 2. Each square will represent 2, so this value here is 2 and 4, here is 6, 8, until I reach 5. How about y direction? I need to find the value of each square, same thing. I will go to the difference divided by the number of the squares. So 25 minus 0, it will be 25, divided how many squares I have, I have 5, so 5. Each square will represent 5. So here I have 0, second, second value it will be 5, the value after that it will be 10, and then I will have 15, 20, and then 25. Okay, now error bar or uncertainties. Uncertainties are the error, the error bars, whether in vertical or horizontal direction. Here I have a relationship between depth in centimeter against height in centimeter as well. As you notice, I don't have error bars in the horizontal direction, so no error bar in, in height but I have error bar in the vertical direction, in the depth. How can I find the uncertainty? The uncertainty is the length of the error bar. On the top of the error bar, it's positive. On the bottom is the negative. Now, what is the length of the error bar? Now, again, the difference between 0 0.6 and 0 0.8, 0 0.8 minus 0 0.6 divided by the number of squares. I have two squares only. So this will give me point, point 0.2 divided by one uh, by two, it will give me point 0.1. So each square represent, represents point 0.1. How many squares I have? I have two squares. So the uncertainty in depth, um, I can call it D, will equal positive or negative point 0.2 centimeter. I don't have uncertainty in the height because there is no error bar in the horizontal direction, so no uncertainty in height. Now let's go to question one. Question one, you have a relationship between time and velocity, time in y direction or vertical direction, and velocity in the horizontal direction in meter per second. I need to find the fractional uncertainty in V when t equals 2.115. 115 is between 2.11 and 2.12. Use the same method. Find the difference divided by how many squares to find the value of each square. Now it's here, around here. Draw horizontal line perpendicular to the volt, to the velocity. To it. So it's, uh, this is the point. 
Now go down, draw a vertical line. It will touch the y-axis at 1.15. So this is the value of v, the velocity. Now what is the uncertainty in v? Uncer v, it's a horizontal. It's a horizontal. The uncertainty, it means the horizontal error bar. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger to see what is the value. How many, how many square? I have only one square. What is the value of each square? What is the value of each square? Find the difference between these two values, 2.12 minus 2.11, divided by the number of squares between them. Between them, I have five squares. Okay, so 2.12 minus 2.11 divided by five. Okay. Uh, sorry, uh, sorry, it's, uh, we need it in the horizontal, not in the vertical. Okay, in the horizontal, not in the vertical. So in the horizontal, okay, I have here, I can take any uh, two values. So 1.5 minus 1.25 divided by how many squares between them? There are around five squares, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, divided by 5. So 1.5 minus 1.25 divided by 5. So each square represents 0.05. And here I have only one square in the horizontal dimension. So delta V will be 0.05. Now we need to calculate the Fractional uncertainty. Fractional uncertainty is the uncertainty divided by the original value. So it will be 0 0.05 divided by the original value, which is this value, 1.15. And this will give us the uncertainty. The number will be 0 0.05 divided by 1.15 is 0 0.04. 0.04. This is the fractional uncertainty, the fractional uncertainty in V. Now the other question, I have a relationship between time in second and velocity square in meter square per second square. The equation of this straight line, T equals A plus B times B square. A and B are constant, determine the value of B. Now this is equation of a straight line. I've got here a straight line. Equation of straight line, y equals mx plus b. Y, it's the t-axis, y direction. X here is the velocity square. So b in this equation, b in this equation will represent the slope and a will represent y-intercept. So Basically, I need to find the value of the slope or the gradient. The value of the slope or the gradient rise over run. You take the first point and the last point. You see rise over run. So slope or the gradient, change in y divided by change in x, or rise over run, change in y divided by change in x. The value for y here, I have two point. 154 minus the value for y here is 2.104. Okay, 104 divided by the value for x here, the first point is 0.5, and the last point is between 4 and 5, 4.5, so it will be 4.5 minus 0.5. This will give us the gradient and we should get 0.125. I can round it to 0.013. How can we find the unit 
of the slope, we said it's rise over run, so the unit, it will be the unit for time, which is second. Let's do it here. I need to find the unit now, the unit for the slope. We said the slope is rise over run, delta y over delta x. So delta y is second, divided by delta x is is meter square per second so let's do it i need it a little bit thicker so second divided by meter square per second square so to be second division it will become multiplication and then flip the fraction so second square over meter square Second times second square, it will give me second cube divided by meter square. So the unit here, it will be second cube per meter square, per meter square. Last question, I need, here I have, I have the error bars and um, I have the maximum and minimum gradients here is shown are shown on the graph I need to find estimate the absolute uncertainty in a now remember a is what a is y intercept so I need the absolute uncertainty in y intercept in y intercept Y intercept, this is the maximum slope, the maximum slope, the, the steepest line. So this one is the maximum gradient. Okay. And this one here, the least steep one is the minimum slope. So this is the minimum gradient. Where these two slopes cut the Y axis, this will represent the first Y intercept, I can call it C1. And this is the second y-intercept, C2. So the uncertainty in A, it means the uncertainty in y-intercept, delta C. Delta C, it will be the maximum, or C1 minus C2 divided by 2. So this value here, if you read it, it will be 2.101 minus this point here. It's 2.094 divided by 2, divided by 2. And if we calculate this value, we should get 3.5 times 10 to the power negative 3. And what will be the unit here? Second, S. Thank you. See you, inshallah, in the next uh, video.